If you could choose any type of brand of ketchup, which one would it be? Would it be the Hans tomato ketchup, the Great Value ketchup, which is basically this an artificial flavor of ketchup, you know, still ketchup, or I think there should be another one on here, um, Heinz ketchup. I'm not sure though, because I actually prefer the other one that I actually have gotten, and I want to get myself um, another pizza and chicken because I love eating these. And my mom, she actually gave me more money to actually basically go to the store to actually buy some groceries and it's kind of quiet tonight which is really good because I'm an introvert so I don't like to be around people and this is sure how short I am okay this is supposed to be like below uh, my my well not all the way up okay there we go below my um nose of how tall I am you can easily see my feet and <laughs> this is actually up here <laughs> this is how short I am to the point I can actually come up here and I would actually can stand in the freezer which is awesome so I just want to share that of how short I am and that's not too far off from the actually it is kind of a little bit far off from the from the floor so I would probably be doing my band I think you should um, another <laughs> episode of Courage the Cloudy Dog after uploading the Robot Randy one when basically Eustace, Courage and Muriel are basically supposed to be as, as slaves because of this dark robot that's been discriminated by his own uh, kind from a distant planet in the galaxy somewhere. And I have to say, it was a really, really interesting episode. And my glasses are foggy, if you can tell. So, I wonder if I should get on your rings, the great value ones. So, only for 258 but I don't know though. Oh, because I don't want to spend all my money on one day because it needs to last. You know, like Dion, you got burritos, you got Cheez Its. One thing I need to get, that's right. Um, I need to get, because I'm going to get apple juice tomorrow for myself. Um, I'm probably going to get root beer. Just seeing that, um, it usually helps me feel more full with my dinner. And I guess I need to eat these before. No, I didn't. These are Tina's. Oh, I think I'm going to cut those for me once because they got Tina's and all Monterey. Personally, for me, I do like the Tina Brutos, but the Almanza ones are really good. It just depends on, on what you like. So, besides that, I'll be, um, because I wanted to learn this Nigerian language, like I did in my live stream earlier, even though no one was on it, except for, um, Casey, of course, because she actually stopped by on my live stream. <laughs> I wanted to learn that language, which is a Nigerian language spoken in the country, because I find it really interesting. So, besides that, I just had to get myself something else. I'm actually here. Um, I had to get this. So, I had to think. My dear, that's right. And I don't have anything for dessert. You know, I got cereal up in the cabinet. Oh. Hmm. I forgot. I can get those butter crackers. But I, don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll like them, now. They're the same price as the ones at Family Dollar. I'll have to check there tomorrow and see if they actually have them. I'm actually just going to get myself this root beer. And I may get myself some Pringles because I can I get enough of those. <laughs> and basically, these root beers are really good. You know, they have a lot of sugar, but since I brush my teeth all the time and I have strong, you know, teeth, I don't need to worry about it. I'm gonna actually gonna get these. And only like for 62 cents. That's how cheap soda is here. You know, oh, you know what? I guess I could probably get cream soda at this once. It has a lot of them. Um, Hey Dion, should you get something? So I, I like to think <laughs> twice before I actually get something. Pineapple, what pineapple? I don't know what I want to get. I'm going to try the pineapple one and see if I'll actually like it or not. And if I don't, then, well, at least I actually took the risk to, to try it. It's only basically under three quarters, so it won't kill. Um, I guess I'd be it there for now. And my Dion, that's what I you. Yeah, that's why I didn't get Pringles. I actually decided to uh, reject um, buying them the other day. I'm actually going to get myself the bacon and cheddar. Those are really good. You know, I do like the barbecue ones. But they are really, really tasty. I see I want to actually get back at the house. Because, um, you know, I just had to just get myself a few things. And honestly, I may... I don't know, because I got $30 on me. Well, not on me, but like $20. Um, I'm so dead. I'm not kidding. There's like nobody here. Well, a few people. Usually it'd be, it's more loud and occupied <laughs> because, because it's, the, it's Monday. Um, I, might, I might want to get myself another t-shirt probably just to give myself another reward for myself. But the thing is, is that I don't have any of the My Hair Academia t-shirts. You know, I got like, let's see, I, um, 
I got, I got the green one in the closet, I got the black one, and I got the Deku one. And speaking of My Hero Academia, they even have another show, Rick and Morty, and Hey Arnold. And I forgot, because of my nickname, um, Dion the Nickelodeon nerd, I may get myself a Nickelodeon t-shirt though, which is Hey Arnold. I don't know yet, unfortunately. So I to keep y'all waiting. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Uh, the next course of Curry Dog reaction, and oh, hold on, before I do cut this off, I actually need to get another, oh, this is different. Another Looney Tunes t-shirt because I already lost one. Because I already got, um, my Looney Tunes pants have been wearing for like, uh, I think like seven years now. That's actually still in a closet, still in good shape, by the way. I definitely need to get another one, but these are all small. I like them long, you know, I can get a small. These are really cute. Before I cut this off, let me actually just show you what, what the shirt looks like. It's really, really cute. Honestly, so I have to keep y'all writing. I know I posted guys straight to the point, but I don't like doing that because this I find it boring. This actually does this, this do this reactions, and I definitely get that supermodel t shirt. That's really cute, honestly. Oh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm actually gonna cut this off, and then I'll see y'all when I get back at the house. Um, for the next reaction, of course. It's so quiet. Oh man, it's like nobody. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it's like only a few people. It's always, always, always crowded. Let me get up. Right. Quick. And I could, I could put it in my backpack for one, two, then just put it to the counter and the register. Because I actually done that a couple of times, so that won't spill any groceries. But uh, it's whatever. Oh, actually, before I do cut this off, there's actually this um, autism t shirt. Because seeing that, um, I actually have autism myself. What do y'all think about that t-shirt before we get started? Because <laughs> it's really cute. You know, I don't like the puzzle one. I just like the symbol that someone made on Reddit. But that's just my opinion. Oh, crap. Okay, so yeah, let me actually cut this off so that I can actually see it when I, I can actually get back at the house. I'm, my, my hands are full. Okay, I'm back. Before we actually get started, I decided to actually cook up even though it's not that good, even though it only cost me 18 cents of Panda Signature Ramen Noodles. I mean, I know she gets straight to the point. I just like to share, like, what I've been going through. Um, tonight, since I just like to share my stories. And this is what the package actually looks like when you actually open it. I, I'm just trying to be in a hurry because I know I'm like wasting everyone's time. And I actually got my two burritos here along with my water. And I also have my um, pineapple pina in the freezer since I wanted to try that out and see how it tastes later on. So I'm going to let that uncook while we actually watch the episode. And it is called... Okay, I'm going to put this on mute by the way. One, two, and Deku just wants to, like, you know, just, like, relax, so to speak, here on chill. Three, the courage of Shirley. I apologize, honestly. I just, I just want to do this reaction to, and just call it a day, because it just, it just seems boring that way. But honestly, I love that, um, Tata card. And I don't know why that, I don't know why there's, okay, why does that, whoever voices says la in the end of the title. Or the, the music, it's weird. Oh, yes. Aren't you excited about your birthday party? Birthday chill. And not to mention, I got copyright in a previous episode, so... It's best that artists not too loud. There we go. I have a phobia of balloons being popped, by the way. I have balloon phobia. I forgot the name of it. So it makes sense. It just makes it more interesting. And then to mention, um, logic number five, cartoon logic number five. Why does Shirley even does? She's out in the middle of nowhere, and she's asking for change. You know, uh, the courage family. Oh, here's a little and you must be hungry. I just baked it this morning. How did she? Okay, there's no way on earth that can fit in her purse. 
asking for yourself. What a bitch. Pardon my language. And, okay. Ooh. Ooh. That, okay. That's like my dental, um, uh, what is it called? My orodontal pho phobia of seeing teeth being, like, pulled out. Honestly, you know, I don't, I love going to the dentist. How does he even have a golden tooth? I like when that happens. Like, when you lose your, your baby tooth. What about the bald ones? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna turn it back off. Forget it. That is so fucked up. I've been doing that. Wait, what did he say? And I love that dark music in the background. I'm just enjoying myself tonight. Honestly, I'm trying to. That's so fucked up. And she has a silver, um, what is it called? Your shiny head, a curse. The, um, xylophone. Long as your soul lives in your purse. And with your coins you cannot part. Your sky shall be dark your sky. your heart. Sorry, I just had to. This is such an awesome episode. Your sky shall be dark as your, your heart. That's not a good sign. Well, space a dunder cloud. Oh, well, hashtag feeling <gasps> angry. I always want to do that. This basically baking like star cookies. That's so cute. Picture show. I'm gonna love this. Well, explains it. Oh my. Oh my. I like the way she says that. Do you mind removing your cloud? <laughs> and they're gonna get Maybe you could move over a seat so we could see the screen. Exactly. Bastard. I'm gonna love this. I'm so right to right. <laughs> I love this so much! I love this episode! It's one of my favorites! Whoops! And it says, coming soon, love and... Fire? Oh, helping an old lady. Of course we're- yeah, she's in another episode. I don't remember the name of it, though. Fucking got grateful bastard. Yeah, I care so much for the other one. You know, some could be cars. Oh, he was on an um a Where the hell did I? Okay, that is unnecessary. I'm not sure how there'll be like an alien in the middle of where the, the, the heck town they're from. And honestly, isn't this me? And if you see that trash can, are those like dog feet? I, I could have sworn. Click. He was another episode too. Man, getting the bed all soaked. Mind the bed. The bed's getting soggy. You can't do away with this curse. You're going to have to sleep on the roof. roof. Yep. Uh, ain't no such thing as curses. No way. 
Or how? Oh, this see, there we go. Okay, this is the only episode we get to see Eustace's eyes being exposed. Cause seeing that he always wears his glasses, it's like Mario. This is the only shot that we actually get to see his eyes. Like literally just being exposed. I remember, oh, you know, catching about this a while back and I think I should on Instagram. I gotta share it again. So I just hope so. I just had to eat. What? Why should you be on the roof? I don't get it. What the heck is that supposed to be? No solicitors. solicitors? What's a solicitor? I can look that up. Jeez. His mom, and not to mention my favorite, the Indian doctor. Namaste, Larky. Or Larky. Sorry, the tattoo. Oh, I love this part. He has mustard growing on him? Fungus? Or fungi? Oh, I'll call fungus is. This fucks me up. Seriously? But someone is actually on D P S D or not P was it D S D or something like that? And my noodles are actually being done. So the point of this episode, right? Oh my glob. Oh my glob. Oh my god, my bad! If you actually can see this, oh jeez, I think I overcooked my noodles. Uh, Dion, things happen. Shit, I think it's still in good shape. The thing is, the point of this episode is that Eustace, he's actually going to a lot of insecurities because of how he basically is guilty of his childhood, which you'll be seeing um, shortly, but um, I'll talk more about that towards the end. Seriously? Uh, excuse me. Now see what you went and done, Eustace. You scared off your guests. You know there's only two of them. And you leave an opening on the floor. Here, stand on this coaster. Coaster. Um, okay. You're not Muriel. And he's losing it. Oh, the screen is a bit unnecessary. Damn! <laughs> That's where she lives? He's stupid one. He's stupid, right? Yep. Wait, mm hmm. For a good um, reason. That's one big quarter! Oh, that's sick! <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting, bitch! He has got fungus and spring inside his fucking skin, and he's feeding it to. How is this for kids? I don't get it! It's just for Stahead Mon Barkley! Ugh! Oh! Oops. 
Uh, he sees his young self. It's so hot. My head is burning. Where's your hat? I don't have one. No hat? That made me cry a little bit be because growing up for me, honestly, I did feel like a lot of insecurities. I'm sure we all on this darn living, um, braving planet has insecurities, right? But like, basically, this is probably one of the best episodes I've ever watched because we get to see how this is why Eustace is so angry at himself because of how he is seen as unattractive. Well, that's just one thing, right? Of a dear want to make up. But the thing is that since he doesn't have hair, you know, for being a kid, like other kids, it doesn't matter how much that can actually impact on someone. I just had to share that because this episode really does take me back, especially at this age. Impossible. You got Eustace to for himself. And his glasses. I'm too far off of her now. Alright, nice sec. Alright, that's a code. Oh, never mind. <laughs> My glasses. I can see. <laughs> you know, you should just you should thank courage for getting rid of that curse. What you doing with my hat, dog? There! Yeah. Well, there it goes! Back again! There ain't no such thing as a curse. Zap! Yeah, I love that! <laughs> I swear that takes me back! It's so funny, is this every time? I mean, okay, after how Robot Randy has basically just zapped him, and him actually getting zapped by Thundercloud, he loves his, he loves to get zapped. He must, I'm guessing Eustace has a zap fetish. I hope they actually enjoy watching this episode with me. I just want to share this, because see that this really brings like memories. And honestly, even though Courage Curry Dog is really random, I just had to share this and I can reply um by Sienna. She says, I hope you um feel better. If you actually can see her comment. Um, not on my channel, but basically from one of the, the YouTube comments. That is so sweet of her for saying that. She's a sweetheart. So I am doing my best to actually hang in there. I may be fine now, but it's let you know. Uh, I'm not playing a fake for K right now, but I, I just want to say I've been going to do a lot. So I know people are probably just here just for reactions or be at the episode, not for, for me as in my personality or commentary. But I just want to share this because you know, I, you know, love for Shikari Dog and I thought I might be the only person that might be doing reactions, you know, only the two episodes. So this is the third episode down, and it just goes to show you that we all have our insecurities that, you know, it's hard to actually overcome. So, I don't know, I'll see you for the next episode, and, um, toodles. Oh, that's right, my, um, before, um, I cut this off. Yeah, my, oh boy, my noodles doesn't look the advertising, but, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's only 18 cents worth. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to eat it anyway. I don't like wasting food. That's not how my grandmother raised me. <clears throat> but what do you think about this episode? Like, can you re relate to it as well if you have any insecurities of your looks? Or be there being ugly like me, I suppose? And, yeah, because of the heat, there's like a little bit of, you know, steam coming out. 